Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm excited to be scrutinizing another video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification button so you never miss a Swing Dance video from me ever again. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about another greatest of all time, Lindy Hop Power Couple. And this couple might be the most ultimate Powerful Lindy Hop couple of all time! Max and Ani. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to talk about Max. Listen, I can make an entire video on the consequences of a person's bad behavior and how it has an impact on their artistic legacy. And I am not gonna do that today because this video would be over an hour long. On a serious note, everyone must ask themselves a very serious question. And that is this, should I erase people's artistic legacy because of bad behavior? It doesn't mean you endorse what they have done or that there should be consequences for their actions because there should be consequences. Whatever your answer is for yourself, it must be consistent or you'll end up like this. Should I continue to listen to Sidney Bechet because he's an attempted murderer? Should I smash all my Billie Holiday records because she was a dope dealer? I stopped doing Lindy Hop because it was named after someone who was a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> People's choices have consequences, and those consequences are real. But we still have to be truthful about what these people have contributed to an art form. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing here today. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. This couple's dancing is like mixing the gritty sound of Sidney Bechet with the rhythmic precision of Django Reinhardt. For you comic geeks like me, it is literally like taking the confidence and swagger of the Wolverine and colliding it with the finesse and power of Wonder Woman. This kind of talent literally comes around once in a lifetime. I'm gonna get out of the way and let their dancing do all the talking, and then I'm gonna do some talking. Thank you. 
Whoever came after that last move, good luck. Guys, this couple is so incredible. The, what they have contributed to the Lindy Hop art form is un unprecedented. Where do I even start? When everyone else was doing circles and smooth, polished, predictable movements, they literally came out and did the exact opposite. For me, their movement was all about not being able to know what's about to happen next, which is the quintessential fuel to make every performance so impactful. What I learned from every other dancer at the time was really more about how to get your partner to move. The principle that I've gleaned from this couple is all about how to get your partner to stop at the right time in the music. Sometimes the beginning and the ending of the move is much more powerful than showing the process of the move happening, which ultimately makes performances much more exciting. This is the only couple who can literally go out and do a competition every single year and win. Beyond all the politics and all that kind of stuff that you don't see behind closed doors, you can look at it as an audience member and I can look at it as a judge and say, well, everybody else better step up their game. They didn't just dominate performances. They didn't just dominate aerials. They didn't just dominate syncopations and intensity changes. They had the ability to take social dancing and make it look like a performance. Not everybody had that skill set at the time. Their artistic influence and talent on the genre of swing is just as impactful as I would say Biggie and Tupac was for the hip hop movement in the 1990s. Everyone knew when they came into the scene, nothing was ever gonna be the same again. And when they were out of the scene, there was a gigantic void. There was all these people coming out with this fake hip hop sound and everybody had their shiny suits. And it was, there was just something more raw that was missing. I feel like that type of correlation is also similar to Max and Ani. If someone would have showed me this couple on the internet, on YouTube, or whatever was out way back then, in the peak of my hip hop days, I probably would have switched dance styles. I can't say that for every swing dance couple. Now what's also interesting is they didn't always work together exclusively as a partner. They both kind of went off and did different things with different dancers, and they had a tremendous amount of success, but I would still say it doesn't directly compare to what they accomplished together as a couple. Even with that, because of this couple's actual catalog captured on video, at my house, they are considered to be the most ultimate Lindy Hop power couple of all time. So there you have it. What do you guys think? Do you think they're overrated? Do you think their catalog stands up to the test of time? As a professional, I certainly think so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. If you haven't started swing dancing yet, make sure you check out some of my free courses below. I can show you guys how to do some swing dancing at home and maybe even possibly some aerials in your living room, just like that. So with that said, hopefully I get a chance to see some of your comments below. And if not, I get a chance to see you in one of my classes online. Take care.